Good lord. How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. This is Tipsy. One of those days I blocked a film. Um, quite honestly, the wind's blowing pretty good, so I'm not going to be fishing or diving. But I thought it'd be a good, ad good day to come out to the islands, kind of do a little bit of exploring, let Tipsy run out some energy. She's been cooped up. I've been working so much. And you guys have been asking for a boat walkthrough, so perfect excuse to get it done. Um, got most of my chores done, so had the afternoon free. I'll see you at the boat. Don't you drink that water. Hey! There she is. 2004 Contender 27. That's my baby. Let's dive in. All right, so hopefully Tipsy doesn't drive me too crazy on this. Um, I'm gonna start at the front of the boat and work my way back, kind of show you how I have everything set up. Um, at the end of this, if there's something I missed that you guys have been actually wondering, just put it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer it. So, I got pop-up light, cleats. I don't know why there's three cleats here. They came with the boat. Um, it was like that when I got it. Anchor hatch, I keep one big claw, about 25 feet of chain for anchoring real deep. Um, I also have a grapple. It's actually in the water right now. Um, about 450 feet of line. Um, I actually just ordered a new spool of much thinner anchor rope. This is three quarter, which is way too big for this boat. The boat came with um, three quarter and then I think this is five eighths, still even pretty big, but I got a new spool coming. Uh, tie wraps for my release. Two anchor rings. Anchor ball stays up here, working back. Primary fish box, this is uh, Yeti 250. I actually through bolted some mounts there into this hatch. Underneath this cooler is probably another, I'm not gonna lift it up because the Yeti's full of ice and it's really heavy, is another, I think probably five, 600 pounds of ice I can put in there. I've had about 500 pounds of Wahoo in it, I know that, so it's, it's pretty big. Um, it's insulated. Um, life jackets, I have them stored up under the gunnels. There's I think a tin and subwoofer under there too somewhere on both sides with bungees. Um, these are two dry storage hatches, one on each side. I'm not gonna show you both. They're pretty big. Um, inside the console, looks like a disaster right now. The boat's been fishing for months on end and I have not had a chance to clean or detail or do any of that good stuff. Um, I have two drop plugs. Um, they're just pretty much for my electric reels. I, I'm able to pull them out and I run them anywhere in the boat instead of having a plug in one specific place. Three batteries, uh, one house, two starters that are dedicated. Um, Play table, always keep this on the boat, multiple knives. I'll get to the electronics here shortly. Rocket launcher, storage. I'm sorry, I didn't clean the boat for this. Um, it's in its natural state. This is a working boat. It's absolutely destroyed. Go play, stop, leave us alone. It's a working boat, you can tell. Up under there is pretty, pretty grimy. Um, working back, these are two fish boxes, one on each side. I'm not gonna show you both, they're exactly the same. They go pretty far back in there. Um, I may, I've, I can fit four or five, well, about three or four full-size Wahoo in there. Um, bilge, I have two bilge pumps on independent switches, independent float switches. Um, I have four gas tanks actually in this boat. Whoever built it added a front gas tank and I'll show you. I'm not going to get too in depth into the bilge. It's a bilge. It's got everything a bilge is supposed to have. Um, so I have two, two saddles, 55. This normally is um, storage or chill kill or uh, cooler live well depending on um, who builds the boat. That's actually another fuel tank. So I have 45 in there, two 55s in the saddles, and I think the center is 105. So I hold quite a bit of fuel in this boat. Um, tackle station, frigid rigid. This came with the boat. These things are great. Came with it when I bought it. Again, it's destroyed. All my tackle in there, all kinds of good stuff, just basic stuff. Um, some must haves on the boat, gaffs. I've got two eight footers. I think it's a three inch and a five inch. Um, 
This side I have a, another gaff six foot and a harpoon. I keep small pit gaff, uh, motors. If you've seen any of the other videos or if this is your first time watching, uh, to the 2020 Mercury V6 200s. Absolutely love these things. Go watch my other video on the performance numbers if you're interested in that, I've got plenty of it. All right, electronics, stop, go play. I have two Simrads, uh, seven inch Evo threes. I wanted, I kind of thought about going one big screen. I like having two um, for the reliability. One goes out, God forbid something happens, I, they both do all the functions. Um, this is my digital gauges for the Mercury's, fusion head unit, basic, you know, VHF there. These tackle webs are very handy. I use these up top, store stuff. You know, I'm trying to think what else. Outriggers, just kind of all your basic stuff. Um, some must-haves in the boat. Always have gaffs, have at least three or four gaffs. You never know what you're gonna get into. I always keep a cast net in the boat. Um, you never know, bait, bait might die while you're out there. I like having a cast net in the boat just in case I can you know, chum up some ballyhoo or something. Um, have a trauma kit. There's a first aid kit in there as well. Um, this is kind of all my goodies here. My ditch box. I've got EPIRB, I've got a rechargeable handheld um, VHF. It's got a GPS locator on it, but we'll send out a distress. Flares, parachute flares. I have to have different standards of flares. Um, bottle of rum, you never know. You might need that out there. Um, I believe that's about it. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Um, if there's anything I missed that you guys have any questions about, that's about all yeah if you've got any questions anything i missed you want to know oh live well pretty standard live well <clears throat> right here is a fresh water tank under the floor um i've got whoop, glasses in the bucket i've got salt water uh, and fresh water quick connects instead of having two separate hoses i added that but stop that's about it tipsy's losing her mind so um, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to get back to the action pack videos here soon. Again, any questions that I missed, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer them. And I will see you guys shortly. Later.